if our beliefs shape our experience of life, then to live an abundant life, a life that's rich not only of wealth, but also of love, of joy, of opportunities, then it makes sense that we must cultivate an abundance mindset. And that's because, as Wayne Dyer said, abundance is not something we acquire, it is something we tune into. And the way to tune into abundance is by being it, by being and feeling abundant. So in this video, I share five simple ideas to cultivate an abundance mindset so that we can create a richer and more fulfilling life for ourselves. So the first thing is to be aware of the opposite, the scarcity mentality. The reason why we must cultivate an abundance mindset is that for most of us, our default setting goes more toward the scarcity mentality. And because the first step to shifting beliefs is awareness, then it helps to become more aware when we operate from a place of scarcity. So a scarcity mentality basically means believing that there'll be less for us if someone gets a big piece of the pie. It's the belief that there's not enough, not enough opportunities or resources for everyone, so we must compete for them. It could be having difficulty sharing what we have, and not just the material things, but also praise and success. It could show up in envying other people's success. It could also be feeling threatened when we perceive someone as better looking than us, as if their good looks means that there'll be fewer opportunities to receive love. Note that sometimes it can be very subtle and quite difficult to notice. I'm going to give you a personal example of a time very recently when I had a scarcity mindset. So I'm currently in Mexico. I came here from Canada because Canada was getting or is getting a little intense with all their restrictions, at least in my opinion, and Mexico just offers a better quality of life. And I'm not the only person who decided to come to Mexico. More and more people arrive every day, Canadians and also other nationalities, for that same reason. So the other day I thought, oh, but I hope that this migratory flow is not going to make the Mexican government become stricter with their entry requirements. And I hope I won't have difficulty renewing my visa in a few months. Can you see the scarcity mindset right here? It's the thought that if more people come here, there'll be fewer possibilities for me. Now, it might be true, but this kind of thinking doesn't show or doesn't demonstrate a belief in a world of infinite possibilities or in an abundant world. It shows a belief in limitation and in a lack of options. When I had this thought, I instantly felt my body contracting. I felt kind of worried and disempowered and small. That's what a scarcity mindset does. On the contrary, when you operate from a place of abundance, you feel expansive, you feel empowered. Scarcity is rooted in fear and has a low vibration. Abundance is rooted in love and has a high vibration. So here's what I've been doing that you could try if you want. In the evening, look back at your day and think of a moment during the day when you experienced a scarcity mentality. Then ask yourself, what would having an abundance mindset look like in this situation? You'll see that if you do this, it'll help shift your perception or your perspective from scarcity to abundance. The second thing is to feel worthy of abundance. A key element to living an abundant life is to believe that you deserve it, that you are worthy of abundance. Otherwise, you risk feeling guilty of receiving good things and not accepting them. So here's a very powerful exercise that will help you increase your sense of self-worth. It's very cringy, but it works. So every evening or night, I personally prefer to do it at night just before going to bed, but you do as you like. Stand in front of a mirror, a big mirror if you can. Look at yourself in the mirror, in the eyes, and say, I love you, Emily, or say your name, and then say three things you love about yourself. I love how you stayed calm during this argument. I love how you looked in that dress today. I love how you chose to have sparkling water instead of a beer at the event tonight. And then finish the exercise by saying, and you deserve all the good things life has to offer. You could also be more specific and state the things you really want to have. Like you deserve to have an abundance of time to do all the hobbies and activities you love. Or you deserve to have a vibrant group of friends and an abundance of love and support. 
I told you it's very cringy, but it's very powerful and it does work. And here's why. What you focus on expands and intensifies. So when you focus, when you make a point to notice the good things in yourself, you'll begin to see yourself as a good person and you'll automatically believe and feel that you are worthy of receiving good things, which is essential to living an abundant life. The third thing is to create a gratitude list with a twist. The next exercise is perhaps the most powerful. So if you had to choose only one thing, I would probably choose that one. So first you can write down five to 10 things you're grateful for, like you would do in a regular gratitude practice. And then, and that's important for each item on your list, write down one to three reasons why you're grateful for that thing. For example, this morning I wrote, I am truly grateful for the conscious community in Playa del Carmen, Mexico, and the opportunity to connect with like-minded people and have a vibrant social life while I'm away from home. Plus, being surrounded by conscious people motivates me to focus even more on my spiritual and personal growth and to live more intentionally. So adding the reasons why you're grateful for each item on your list makes the exercise much more powerful. Plus, it also helps you really feel appreciation, and that's what truly matters in the end. Next is to apply the law of donation. Deciding to give what we want to receive allows the abundance of the universe to flow through our lives. The more you give, the more you will receive. Another sure way to feel more abundant is to be generous, to share what you have and give what you would like to receive. And it's not just your money and material possessions. If you want people to listen to you when you speak, then give them your full attention. If you want to be happier, do your best to make other people happy. You can be generous with your time, with your smile, with your good intentions and your compliments. You could even share your health by giving blood. The thing is that you can't give what you don't already have. So when you give something, it implies that you have it. And it reinforces the belief that you are already abundant of that thing. Which again is how you tune into abundance. The fifth idea is to create a jar of awesome to celebrate your wins. A good way to develop the belief that there's an abundance of opportunities and successes is to make it a habit to celebrate your wins. You could simply write down your one to three wins every day or every week, or you could create what Tim Ferriss calls the jar of awesome. Tim said, the jar of awesome has had a tremendous impact on the quality of my life. It sounds ridiculous and my 21 year old self would probably vomit, but man, it works. So what is the jar of awesome? It's just a mason jar that you leave on your counter. If you want, you can do as Tim and stick glitter letters on it saying the jar of awesome, but you don't have to. And every night or every week, write down your one to three wins on little pieces of paper and put them in the jar. And note that your wins don't have to be massive things. They can be just little things like cool things you did right. Tim says that on days when he feels a bit depressed or unmotivated, he just pulls out a few pieces of paper, reads them, and it makes him feel better about himself and about his life. I also made a video recently about three mindsets we must cultivate to live an extraordinary life. I think it would complement this video very well, so I'm gonna link it somewhere on the screen and also in the description below. If you found this video helpful, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. It helps me, it helps the channel when you do that. And that's it for me, guys. I wish you a beautiful day and I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.